Yeah. Hi everyone, this is Rhinox. Welcome to Amerbet Technologies. In this video, I'm going to create a simple servlet application that every student should start with. So in this application, I'm going to explain about how to get the information from the HTML form and display on the web page through servlet. Here I opened my Eclipse workspace and I'm creating the dynamic project display display employee details. I'm creating the project. Just click on next and make it finish. Yes, the project is going to create. So once the project is ready, first of all, we need to create one HTML file. Simple, just right click. Once the project is ready, just right click on the project folder, new, take the HTML file. See, if it is not available HTML file in this list, you just go to others others and here you just type html then that html file is available just click on select this and click on next then it is asking to enter the name of the file i'm just giving that input.html the file name I have given input, just click on finish. Then it will create that HTML file. So there we need to write our code. Okay. So here we are we are creating that code. It will show that input.html file like this. So we are writing from the beginning. So everything we need to write in HTML. If you want to so give the any title. So we need to specify in a head location that we know. Just title, title, that employee form, details form. And here it is in, in body. We are creating the form to get the information, just form. And in this form, I'm just directly asking the details, enter employee name. For that one text box is required, input type equals to, type equals to text box. And to collect the information, we need to provide the name, the name of the person, name of the employee. We collect this. And then I'm just giving the break statement. It will go to the next line. Enter employee a salary. Enter employee salary to collect that input type is equals to same text. The name equals to salary I'm giving. These names are very, very important. And just sending the control to the next line. If you want to ask, enter employee ID, okay, we are asking. Just collecting that using one more text box. One more text box, that is ID. And here it is at the break. Next, right, whenever they enter the input to submit the data, so we are taking one submit button. We are taking one submit button. So with the help of input field, with the help of input field submit button, we are giving this way. Input type equals to submit I am taking. And what is the value? What is the value? This details display. This message will display on the button. We know all the basic things. But see, whenever they submit this form where it has to go. I need to I need to create one servlet. The name you need to specify here. The name I am giving display servlet. Display servlet and what is the method? Two methods we have in in a theoretical concepts. I already explained fairly about uh, when we go with the get method and when we go with the post method. Everything. So here I am using the get method. Okay. Now. We are creating, once that HTML file is ready, now we are creating, now we are creating one servlet. One servlet we are creating. Just we need to select the servlet and give the servlet name, package name if you want to give, you can. Right, suppose here it is, I'm giving the package name is Amit Pet and the class name. No, I don't want to give any package name, no need to give. Just the default package it will take. Only the class name is very important. What is the name you have given there? Display servlet. 
the same thing you need to specify here display servlet okay then directly you can make it finish if you go to go to next in this next right what are the things need to be added everything you can check here you can check constructors required abstract methods required do post do get here we go with the get method get so if you select deselect this do post right deselect that constructors everything then only do get method is present just finish it then it will be created that comments not required so i'm removing the comments right what all the things required only that is the default constructor i'm removing the default constructor which is not at all required only just a serial version id default version id and these things also not required just with empty body with a empty body this is enough to start our application only this much remaining things please remove and now you are getting some errors because we need to build path for servlet api.jar file just right click on that build path configure build path and here it is libraries click on the module path go with that libraries option module path when you click on module path then automatically all things all the buttons will be available all buttons enable just click on add external jars right and where is the location in c drive in c drive in program files apache tomcat you have installed so in that 9.0 i have installed in that lib folder servlet api.jar file is there go down see here servlet api.jar file so this jar file contains all the classes which we are using click on open just apply and close when you apply see all errors will go now we can write the code how can we write this simple code just whatever the information you will submit that we are collecting using that id name and salary yes we are collecting how to collect and theory concept we have seen that using the request request dot get parameter and we are passing that id what is the name you have given that but we know that the text box always will give the information in which format in text format the text format you are converting into integer this employee id equals to integer dot parse int integer dot parse int it will convert that string type into int next the name string name equals to no need to convert directly request dot get parameter of name get parameter of name next one is a double salary equals to how to convert means in double class parse double method is there for this we need to pass request dot get parameter of sal what all the names you have given in html file id name see it's not sal it's a salary so you have to specify the salary clearly okay the information we collected and the same information we need to display the same information we need to display on the screen on the web page so first we are giving response response dot get writer response dot get writer when you call this method you will get the print writer object it will give the print writer object any name you can give at the print writer class is belongs to io package that we need to import java dot io dot print writer is important okay after that then you can write print ln just out dot print ln i am writing with the html content like h1 tag h1 so what is the employee id is we need to concatenate that id what you have collected and of course we need to close that h1 
H1 we need to close. H1 tag starting, H1 tag ending. With the message, it will show employee ID. But where is the value? The value that you have already collected. So in the same way, in the same way, just we are collecting. We are collecting that employee name, employee name and employee salary. So here, the same values we are specifying name and employee salary. This is the simple way. So when we are executing the code, just right click on HTML, file run on server, selecting the server which is already created, just click on finish. Then first it will show the form. What is the form we have created HTML form? That form it will show. In the form, we need to input all the details, employee details. The details what you have entered will be collected by the servlet and it will print by creating the web page. See here, the server, employee ID, I'm just giving 1001. The name I'm giving Amar. Amar and salary, I'm giving 45,000. When you just click on display button, see, look at this. The information will display on the web page. This is the simple way. And this is the first application that every student should complete. Creating the HTML file. There, create one form. Right with the fields, employee ID, name and salary. And with one button, submit button. When they click on submit button, that information will submit to the display servlet. So in display servlet, we collect the information which is from request object. And then we are giving the response by printing the details of all employee details given in the HTML form. Okay, hope you understood. Please practice this one.